I'm going to bring Villa up in here. Villa, just come and join me straight away. Take a jog. Don't fall. Come and be with me because I want us to go into what happened as far as the uh, Nedbank Cup is concerned. Now, I don't want you to say one team was bad or not. Just give me an opinion on what you see. Let's take a look at some of the highlights uh, as far as the Nedbank Cup is concerned. We have uh, the 2014 PSL Footballer of the Year in the studio to give his assessment on what took place. So, ECBs. Hey, it took long to score, eh? Well, it's one of those tough games whereby they had an edit goal. So that happened that we had to come back and then fight for, for, for an equalizer. But obviously playing these type of games, it's a cup competition. Mm. The most important thing is just to win the game. Doesn't matter how it comes. Chances if, came. It, I yeah, looked it's... the statistics after uh, the first 45, 75% possession going Mami Lodi Sanandz's way. Good thing is that we're creating chances and that obviously first half we never took those chances clinically. But then second half we came back with a strong attitude. Were you surprised here as Bongani Chikile gets the goal? It's one of those. It's one of those. No, but you didn't you didn't worry at this moment. Not at all. Not at all. With the team that we have and the, the quality and the attitude that we have from the boys, it's amazing that they can bounce back mm. and then even score more goals than this and the than the ones that we scored. That's a, that's what he does, right? Lompo, that finish is just that's what he does. That's his strength. That's his signature move. He rocket. Okay, he gets those and then you obviously you know that he's got the a very good technique of hitting the ball very well. Doesn't matter how it counts, he's got that technique. That's what you mean? He does it, he does it. I think he's one person that's gifted in that, uh, in that range. Hey, we shy it again. And then, mm. Tapolo Morena makes the game safe. He uh, puts the ball in the net, and that's how it ends. Sundowns come back. You missed this game. Yep. And I'm suspicious about that. Why is Because you're suspended, right? Yes, I was. But we'll talk about that very shortly. It's one of those suspensions that you go, gets a yellow card in the 84th minute when he knows the next game is against ECB, so he's going to be, ah, 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 ah. We know those technical, tactical yellows. Pirates going out today, um, and it's Cape Town City doing the business uh, against, Cape, against Orlando Pirates. Uh, they've just been in CAF Confederations Cup action. A lot of people thought that uh, Cape Town City would be affected by that. But they've come back and beaten Orlando Pirates. Yes, I'm saying it's a cup game. You know, uh, it's, a, it's a one opportunity whereby you have to bring everything that you have. So they took the opportunity, as you can see, that Patosi scored a very, very good goal. Mm. So it's one of those you, you have to take your chances so that you, pro, to, you progress to the next game. And, and playing in Africa, usually we do see some, you know, signs that you've just come out of CAF competitions. They're not showing it. You didn't show it. You got through your encounters. I think they're taking every game seriously. I think they, they're giving themselves a chance to see how far, can, how far they can go. Mm. So football, it's, you have to put certain uh, objectives in front of you or goals that you want to achieve. So I guess with uh, Cape Town City, they're doing that. OK, let's talk about that yellow card. Did you get it on purpose? Which game? Was it cheaper or? Mm. Yeah, it was Amazulu. It was on purpose, obviously, because I've had three yellow cards. And um, we, we're having a couple of games that are coming, very important games. Mm. So you just have to take one for the team. And so you take the yellow, miss ECBs, you then you take, you, then you take the yellow because if you trust your teammates as well that they're going to come in and then do the job as well. And then you're ready to play the next Obviously, premiership it's, games. It's a bunch of players that are ready. Everybody that's been brought into the field of play or everyone that's been selected can do the job. So if, if on the day I'm being brought in to do the job, I'll, do, I'll clearly do so. Coach, that's a football tactic these days, right? You get a yellow when you know that the next game is not that important, and then later on, uh, my player comes back. It happens. <laughs> Nobody wants to admit it. <laughs> Would you recommend it? Would you do it yourself? Uh, I'm sure I've done it in the past. <laughs> but me, not... me, myself, I don't do it anymore. Yeah, no. but it could have possibly Some happened in your time. Do, yeah. <laughs> Mila, I want to talk a little bit about Rwanda, because we didn't get to see the game. CAF Champions League, you guys played in Rwanda, nil-nil draw. What was it like? Why not win there? Why not come back with an away goal? Obviously, when you start the game, you want to win the game. And uh, you have to respect the opponents, which we did when we came into that field. And I think first half, it was quite fairly ours, that, that we never took our chances. Mm. And then the game stretched, and then uh, second half, they came. And they have quite certain individuals that uh, they gave us problems. Uh, were there dirty tricks? Not you know, tricks, not, not tricks. in the game itself, but I heard in the build-up it was difficult for you guys. Not they didn't really. make it easy. Not really. I think we had quite few chances, clear chances that we, mm. we, we should have scored. But we never took those chances. And that's why I'm saying the game turned out to be very difficult as it started to progress. They started to get the motivation. They started to come into the game. They believed that they could score one or two goals. Mm. But good thing is that we never considered the goal. But night before you were supposed to train on the pitch, you couldn't. Yeah, well, those are... 
part of things that you sometimes you're not in control of. So we just have to make use of what you have. And on that night, okay, lights were off, but then doesn't give any excuse of what happened the next day in the field. You didn't see anyone there at the light box go <laughs> I was busy doing the job. <laughs> How could I be upstairs looking at, who's, uh, looking at someone who's switching off the lights? <laughs> and does it affect, though, when you can't train the night before? Really, it doesn't affect. I mean, what's important, it comes down to the day of the game. How you prepare it is important, but then the major important part of it is coming to the game, mm. which I think the guys were prepared. And it's just that we never got the right result, but then obviously you have a, a better opportunity coming this weekend. So with the squad that we have, I think it's, it's possible because of it's one of the things that we replace playing the Champions League and trying to progress to the next stage. Now, Stuart Baxter has called you up, Bafana Bafana Four Nations. Um, you were also involved in the qualifiers for the World Cup. You played in the last three of those. So you're one of those players I can ask, are we going to see a different Bafana Bafana in this build-up to the Africa Cup of Nations? Look, there's always, there's always um, an ambition, obviously, when you're being picked and you, you're always honoured to, 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 to represent your nation. And you always, especially now we find ourselves whereby we have to dig deep and then obviously try to bring in results. But obviously in time as well, it doesn't happen overnight, you know, with the quite a, a new players that are coming in as well. So with that in time, I think that will come. But then it's a new objective. We're trying to change everything because of change doesn't happen in one day. It takes time. I mean, but they're calling you one of the experienced players now. You're there now as part of the guys need to help the youngsters in Bafana Bafana. Yes, when given the opportunity, you try to, to give in what you have. But it, obviously, it's not a one-man job. It's part of a team. And you have your teammates as well to help you do that. But it's most importantly the nation that we, we try to, to make proud of. And then, obviously, you can only do that inside the field of, in the, inside the field of play. Last question, though, before we get the shampooizer in. I, I, I'll try and make sure he doesn't shampoonize you. That's the one thing that we're not going to... He's not going to do it. He's not going to shampoonize you. We're safe. I'm very safe. But what would you, how would you describe your time, the last two seasons at Sundowns? I mean, when you arrived at Villa, former footballer of the year, um, last two seasons you've scored four goals, not really been in the team. I think it's a, it's a process. I think me coming in, it's coming into a team which it had so many individuals that are contributing to the team. So that was, what was important for me is coming in and how do I contribute to the team. It's not about the villa that was at Vades who was mm. obviously sort of solo, but then you come into a team where but you want to contribute and want to add to the team. It's not about being individuality. So that I've enjoyed, coming to the team and then helping the team progress in certain games. And um, that has came and then the, um, the confidence has came in the past few games and that progressively it has it's been um, outstanding for me and I've enjoyed it.